Welcome back to Dodgeball, the only place where this can happen. So as we start our first game, today I want to tell you all something. I was trying to think of video ideas forever. I haven't been posting a lot lately and all I could think of was shorts and doing the restarting Rec Room series, which if I'm going to be honest with you all, it's not my favorite to record. I know you all like it, but it's really not my favorite. Where did that guy go? What? He's on our team now. And as I was sitting on the sideline exactly like this, I was thinking, I love to make content that I would enjoy. So that's why I make it for other people to enjoy. I know it makes a lot of sense. And so I was thinking back to when I watched Technoblade. Yes, the Minecraft pig Skywars champion guy. Rest in peace, Technoblade, of course. He was probably my favorite Minecraft YouTuber. And I used to love watching his Skywars videos where he would just commentate and play the game. But since I can't rant long enough about eight-year-old girls to get enough AdSense, I'm gonna talk about my own elementary school experience because it was, it was weird, man. The gameplay was so smooth and he was so good at the game that it was just a really entertaining video to watch. So I thought maybe I could try to replicate something like that with dodgeball. I know I'm not the best at dodgeball and the servers can be a little messy sometimes, but maybe I could share a few thoughts, a few stories with you guys while I play the game. And so today I would like to talk to you about how I believe Rec Room is going down the gutter. Now, of course, Rec Room starting as the very simple base game that it was based on sports. It has made a ton of major improvements over the years. However, with so many updates, Rec Room has kind of gone downhill a little bit. A lot of this is due to so many bugs in the game. There are a lot of things that are still clunky, and especially in Dodgeball, there are so many bugs and glitches that are just part of the game now. Every day, despite my ability to even come up with video ideas, I find it harder and harder to make videos in Rec Room. I just feel like there's not enough content anymore to cover, and everyone has already done everything. At this point, I feel like my videos are just pointless. I also feel like Rec Room doesn't really listen to their community and what they want. A lot of the updates and collaborations seem very mainstream and based on profit, not really for the population of their community. Tits. That was cool. Like the Rec Room Plus membership, for example, while it does offer some cool perks, I think that it was mainly for monetary gain, and that's all that can be said about it. I understand that you have to run a business here and it is a free game, however, it seems like all of this has now come to the forefront instead of being in the shadows, such as like buying tokens was back in the day. Rec Room just doesn't feel the same either, and I don't know if I'm the only one who's noticing this or if anyone else has the same thoughts. A lot of the players are very toxic, and it is almost impossible to play any game without being trash talked. Back when I first joined Rec Room, it was like a small community, and now it feels like everyone's in Rec Room. Everyone's playing VR, and it feels so mainstream that, I don't know, it just doesn't feel fun anymore. This may be very selfish, but I would prefer Rec Room to be a smaller community. A smaller community with people who actually enjoy the game instead of those who just hate on it. And to be honest, I believe they all make the game worse. I think my point was perfectly proven by this game. All strafers, and if I had the voices on, I bet they would all be trash talking me right now. Rec Room is also very poorly optimized and this leads to it being laggy a lot of the time. Sometimes you'll just get lag spikes when there are too many players in the room. And even when I use the streamer cam, I lag constantly. This makes streaming pretty difficult because most of the time you're just lagging. Now, all of this is not to diss on Rec Room. I just believe that they could be doing better. I think the developers could be doing better on the game, I think they should listen to their community a little bit more, and I think that they need to update their game engine. A little more originality could be useful as well, because even though we've seen multiple game modes be added, like Stunt Runner, Rec Rally, Showdown, they're all repetitive and based on 
really basic concepts for games. I think that more advanced mechanics need to be explored. I just wish that I would feel excited playing Rec Room again. I usually only get on nowadays to make videos or to hang out with my friends. And that kind of says something about a game. I mean, take the community's request for example. For years, people have been requesting a new quest because people like quests. They're unique. They're different. No other game has a quest like any of the ones available on Rec Room. Sure, the Rec Room originals just got updated with Rec Room Studio, but really, that can only take the game so far. I just think that the Rec Room developers need to step up and start thinking about their community and the quality of their game. But that is, of course, ah! Just my opinion. Don't mind my hat. But what do you think about my opinion? Do you think that the Rec Room developers can be doing better on their game? Or do you like it how it is? I kind of like this video style. If you also liked it, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and all that stuff. I want to make videos more casual and just have conversations with you guys. While, of course, I'm playing Rec Room. And it's kind of funny how I ranted about Rec Room in this video. However, I was playing Rec Room the whole time. I don't know, that's just how it goes. I love this game, but I do have my complaints. So anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.